Hola, buenos dias. Hi cuties. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you could make it for another planner video. As always, it's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, and I'm here to set up my mega happy planner solar system diva for the month of December. So if you're interested in seeing how I Franken plan one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten planners into one uh, kaleidoscope of a planner. Just keep on watching. So I just filmed a flip through of this entire mega happy planner solar system diva. Um, so it's on my channel somewhere if you're interested in checking out, you know, the flip through of the month of November. I Franken plan. So I combine like various different happy planners into one like mega customized happy planner and because I use 10 different ones in this beautiful baby here, I only have one month at a time in here otherwise she'd be way too thick. I mean she's already like pretty chunky but you know she would be like unacceptably chunky if I <laughs> if I used more than one month at a time uh, because I do use 10 planners. But um so uh i just filmed that if you're interested in like seeing you know what i was up to in the month of november i was actually not there was like two weeks ish that i was like very much not in my planner because i was super busy with um i was moving like i moved to a different city still in san diego county but like a different city in the county i was moving i had family in town um, work was crazy like everything just like came to a head like all the stars aligned and they were like you are not going to be in your planner for two weeks because the world needs you so um, I actually, I mean, I did a lot of stuff in here. Like there's weeks I definitely, you know, did a lot. And then there are weeks where I was just like, not today. So, but anyways, all, all that is going to be in that flip through if you're interested in checking that out. Um, in this video, I'm going to be setting up for December. So I'm not really going to be like flipping through it and like showing all the spreads and stuff. I'm going to be just setting up. So yeah, just to let you know. So the first thing I'm going to do is <laughs> change the cover and the title sheet. So I am excited to jump into the month of December. December is when I feel like winter really, you know, becomes a possibility. I know winter doesn't start until like the 22nd or something like that. But for me, like winter really starts in December 1st and I start decorating for Christmas and winter decorations. All the fall decor goes back into storage so yeah um so i am ready to move on from this uh cover and this cover page and these pages so i'm gonna pull these out and i might leave this one in here because i want to still keep like all of my like all this um i don't want to like write all of this again so i'm gonna keep these pages but i'm gonna pull these out and return these to i'm gonna return these to the planner that these came from so this can go back on the rings and this cover page can return it to the planner. Let's pull those, let's put those back. And then let's see. So now we're gonna need a cover page. And so I'm so excited for this. So first of all, I think I'm gonna go back to this Adventure Awaits Desert Dream Sawaro Fantasy Happy Planner cover. And the reason that I wanna go back to this cover is because I started the year 2021 with this planner cover like I used this planner cover I think January through March as like my planner and I like in March I like wanted to change it up I went to use like other planners planner covers and I kind of want to end the year with it because it kind of gives me that full circle moment you know I started the year off I'm gonna end the year off with this one 
I also am going on the Death Valley National Park trip in December, so I really want to like get into that desert fantasy and and also like the new year, like the time, like the week, the week of like New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, all that. Like that time really always reminds me of Saguaro National Park and you know adventure and cactus because um, before the uh, the pandemic the for the two years before the pandemic I would always go on like an Arizona road trip and I would always go to Saguaro National Park and so I I just like I have these memories of like New Year's and Saguaro National Park and road tripping and being in the desert when it's really cold and so that kind of it kind of gets me into that like winter spirit so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and put that onto the rings and I also had a lot of fun making this um, cover page so this cover page is from a planner that I recently got I got this planner um, that says hello 2022 on it I just got this I saw it in stores like two weeks ago and I picked it up because I really really liked it but this cover page comes from that planner and I wanted to make like a Christmas cover page because I have so much fun making the cover pages. So I went ahead and put this one together and had so much fun putting this together. And it's gonna be perfect for the holidays. So we're gonna pop the cactus cover back onto, um, onto the discs. And we're also going to uh, put the cover page um back on and i kind of want to i kind of want to change my discs I've been on the gold discs for a while now and i kind of feel like changing it up so i think i might change it to these hot pink discs and i'll use like one accent gold ring just because i actually have the rest of the pink rings like on another planner and i don't feel like taking all those pages off so i'm just gonna make it work with like the one gold tooth <laughs> um okay so we're, we're gonna do this we're gonna take off um the, the planner pages or the uh we're gonna take yeah we're gonna take the planner pages off and set them here i'm just gonna tr like put the pages he down here and then at the end of the video i'm going to go ahead and put them all on the rings so i'm not gonna do it like on camera well i am gonna do it on camera but like i'll do it at the end so that way i'm not like struggling putting them on the rings like throughout the video so okay we're just gonna start my pile here let me try to like like put this in frame better so yes i'm so happy with how this turned out as always i did my little script here i used like prismacolor color pencils and like white gel pen for the highlights and then the cover page started i like had this um is making plans like i didn't write the is making plans but it did provide like spaces to write your name and to write an adjective here kind of like a mad lib style and i had fun uh, making this little font. I just got a book from Barnes and Nobles that like gives you different like fonts. It's like a lettering book and it gives different examples of fun fonts. And I saw that this one in that book. And so that's how I like, came up with this font. And I just used some uh, Happy Planner sticker books for all the stickers. And then I got some of these like bling bling pearls and um, uh, gems just from Joann's. And I just kind of wanted to like bling it up, but also kind of give the like impression of like snowflakes and snow falling. So I hope that kind of like tra uh, translated well. Anyways, I'm in love with it. So unfortunately on the back of that page, it's the year 2022. So what I might have to do is go back into my cactus um, planner and then like, uh, paper clip these two pages together here uh, because I don't want to uh, like uh, tape it together because I don't want to cover up this cover page this is one of the first cover pages I ever did and when I like had a lot of 
like I took time with my cover pages and I really I really like how it turned out it's fun to see like the evolution of like this is my one of my first ones and then this is like my most recent one I had a lot of fun with this one so I might have to like paper clip these two together and then I'll have this calendar page here and then we can just go straight from March to October, November, December. Like, I don't mind that at all. So yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll take off the bookmark. And then we're gonna pull these pages off and keep them for the, uh, the new year. I mean, the new month. And then, so this is, um, so and one thing I want to do in December is I want to get rid of all of this like fall themed scrapbook paper. Like I said, for me, December is like a winter month. I know it like winter starts in like late December, but for me, like I, I'm ready to move on to winter. So it's time for me to uh, move on from this fall scrapbook paper. And actually... I already have like a bunch of like Christmas themed scrapbook paper that I'm gonna pull for to kind of separate the sections. Oh, why am I putting this back up? So what I might do here is, um, yeah, I might put this one first and let me think. Well, actually, no, I might just, um, I might just have like the folders follow the um the calendar and then i'm gonna pull off the the scrapbook paper here with the sticky notes and everything so i'm gonna keep all of these scrapbook dividers i'm definitely gonna reuse them in you know future fall seasons so we're definitely gonna keep all of these i might transfer some of these sticky notes to a different scrapbook paper at some point but for now I think I'm gonna pull for this sticky note dashboard here this sticky note dashboard is from my other mega happy planner solar system and because this one kind of has like a neutral pattern to it um oh I keep on wanting to put them on the discs um I'm gonna be able to use this one for winter. This one is definitely very like fall themed and um, this one is not. So I think I'm gonna like put this one away and then switch to using this one. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, transfer this over and I might put this after the calendar and then followed by, <gasps> you know what? I'm gonna leave the, the gourds here. I know this is very fall but I think it's gonna work because it's not like super fall colors and also like, you know, uh, gourds can be like winter vegetables too. So then we're gonna like move on with the folders. We're gonna keep the Happy Planner Solar System table of contents. And then I am still gonna keep my um, fall bucket list because, you know, I still have till late December to check some of these off my list. So I guess we can't get rid of all the fall theme and decor completely, but I'll kind of get rid of most of it. So again, we're gonna pull this one off. We're gonna reuse this at some later time, but for now that's gonna uh, go somewhere else. And then we have my hourly schedule. So this sheet I'm gonna uh, get rid of cause it's completely full, but this sheet, I still have some room here to, for an hourly schedule. So I'm going to um, transfer this over. And now I'm gonna need like a, a, a scrapbook divider here to separate um, the hourly section from the fall bucket list. So we're gonna pop in one of those scrapbook dividers. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And then this page, we still have some room here on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that. And then we have my first planner section. So again, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna pop in this scrapbook divider here with the trees. And we're gonna pop in, uh, or we're gonna pop out the month of November here. We're gonna return it to its little 
skinny mini planner. Let's see here. Let's pop that in. And it's currently Sunday, so I'm going to have to go back to this planner if I want to, you know, write a little self-reflection in it. Like, I try to write a little self-reflection on this notes section here, um, but, you know, I might not do that. Who knows? I still haven't written my prayer today, so I might have to go back to this planner at some point and finish up with it. I'll pull off the bookmark here. And then I have to pull for the month of December. So this is the last month. I cannot believe it. Um, that's such a gorgeous divider. A beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. I love it. This is my prayer planner. So um, let's see. So, okay. So we have a scrapbook divider here. And I might at some point try to decorate the back of these scrapbook dividers. Right now they're blank. Um, the ones I had in before, as you can see, I uh, I like glued two scrapbook papers together. So that way I didn't have like blank, like a blank backing. So I might go ahead and do that at some point, but for now I'll just put my little planner section there and then move on. Um, so I'm gonna grab this planner. So then I'm gonna grab this scrapbook divider to separate the next section, which is my sleep section. So we'll pull for these sleep logs. And I think I'm ready to, uh, to start a new bedtime routine. So I might, I'm going to leave this in for now, but I'm going to get rid of this sleep log. I'm just going to put it somewhere else. And I'm going to do a new bedtime routine at some point this month. And then I'll keep the current sleep log in. And my sleep bookmark. Then my next section is my academic section. And because this one is so fall themed, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, pull for another Christmas scrapbook paper. So we're going to get rid of this one. It's super cute and I wish I could keep it, but we're not going to use that. And then this one, this is my fall class schedule. I am going to move this somewhere else because it's no longer fall. Also, um, my schedule has changed and so I want to like update this. And then we have the first scrapbook divider here. So we're going to pull off the paper clips so that I can pull this one off. And actually, I might not need another scrapbook paper in between here because I might just put my class schedule here, my winter class schedule here, and then I'll have another paper where I'll put the calendar view and then I'll paper clip this to the back of that. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So I'm going to pull out the month of November here. And pull out my bookmark as well. So let's leave this one in here because it has... I keep on like putting them back on the rings. So I'll put this here. And then I have one week left. And then it's the December overview. So we'll return these pages. To, oops, to the planner that they came from. So let's see, December. So let's pop this one back in. Awesome. And then uh, this is going to be the new month. This one's super cute. Collect moments, not things. And then I have my December monthly all dated. And then I have the weekly. I'll add them here. And then again, more scrapbook paper. I'm going to get rid of this one though, or, you know, I'm going to save it. And then this is uh, for my internship at the grad division. It's a part time that I, um, that I started a few weeks ago. So it's super blank 
because I just started this position on the 22nd. But next month, things will be a lot more um, filled in. So these pages are from the Painterly Pastels. Um, the Painterly Pastels Planner. So we're going to pop these back into... Uh, into this, here we go, November, September, okay, here we go. So these pages are from the Painterly Pastels Color Block Planner, so we're going to pop those back into the planner, and then pull for the month of December here. I love this planner so much. Look at that. I love I love the Painterly Pastels. I wish the Happy Planner would come out with an entire sticker book of the Painterly Pastels. I love it so much. So, oh, so first, well, actually, maybe I should, like, figure out these bookmarks. Um, so this is my academic bookmark. It goes here. And then next we have uh, this December overview followed by my December or my grad internship bookmark and then the December pages and then this is the next section let's pull off this scrapbook paper here and this section is my social justice community service outreach work and these pages came from this guy here this is a vertical planner and let's see let's pull out these pages so these pages are gonna return let's pull them out um, pull out the bookmark and then this page is gonna stay because it has the monthly overview on the back something that I like about the happy planner um, because I tend to like re like set up my planner um, you know like Sunday before the 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 Sunday before the the first of the month. And so it helps me that like I can keep this page in my my new setup so that I can finish doing stuff or like checking things off, you know, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So even if I set up my planner Friday and I move all the pages of the week back to, or of the month back to the planner they came from, I'll still have, you know, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with me because I keep this page in my new setup because the December overview is on the back. So let's see. Those pages are now back in the planner. We're going to keep this December overview and pull for the last month. So let's pull for the last month here. Very cute monthly overview or I mean so we're gonna pull for the last month here very cute divider and it's gonna be the last one in that planner so the last page is just this little happy notes section I'll add my bookmark there and then next is my world news planner so let's pull off this fall scrapbook paper Let's add this cute ornament one, which reminds me, did I add like a divider between like my grad internship? No, I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna add this one between those two sections. And then we're gonna pull these pages off and pull the bookmark off. And then this page is gonna stay. So let's transfer that over. This is my world news section. And these pages come from this colorful leopard planner. This motivates me so much to listen to the news and stay informed. So we're going to put these pages back. January. Why is January here? October. That's so strange. I might have like accidentally messed up where I placed the pages. So we have November, October, then November. I'm gonna grab December here. 
So December. bookmark and then the pages and then we're going to move on to the next planner section Let's pull off the scrapbook paper again oh no this is the fitness yeah this is the fitness one i thought this was my household one so okay we're gonna move this move these Let's pull these off the page we're gonna keep this last page for the overview oh and i keep on forgetting to like pull for like the dividers so we're gonna go with this ornament divider and i'll place that right here okay where's my fitness planner fitness planner here she is the wrong wrong let's see move on to December. Oh, this one's so cute. I can't believe this is the last planner section, the last month. That's crazy. I can't believe I'm going to be finishing up the entire planner. Okay, so we have those back in here. And then I'll add the December, the fitness, and then, okay, let's pull those off. Let's add another scrapbook divider, get rid of this one, and then we're going to pull off these pages, pull off the bookmark, transfer the monthly overview, and then these pages come from this uh, Desert Dreams dashboard. Let's pull off the December month of December and then return these pages to the planner and again this planner is also going to finish um, this year it's crazy so add that to the stack with the bookmark and then I already have the December month for my garden planner this is um, from the all feel all the feels skinny planner this is my garden planner I don't separate it with another like scrapbook divider because it's kind of part of my household so I have it have it like be its own section like its own planner section but I don't necessarily need to like separate it um yeah I don't necessarily need to separate it and then lastly it's my budget section I'm gonna go ahead pull off all these pages and transfer them over here I'm gonna keep um November in here until like it's literally the first of December I actually I might just like keep November in and then add December as well because um I, I tend to like use the budget section until the very last day and so I don't want to like get rid of it I want to keep it in my planner so what I'm going to do is transfer all these pages over and then add December on top of it so I'll have two months for the budget planner so I'll go ahead and do that and I will transfer over the envelope and the folder that I have in the back here as well as a couple of um, extra filler pages in the back in case I want to use those and then finally I'll take off all of these old discs and then for the uh, back cover, I've been using this floral one, but I think I'm going to go ahead and change it up. It's back to my desert planner. And there she is. Here is my stack, my planner stack here. So I'm going to go ahead now and put them, uh, put all this paper on these discs and we'll be back in a second. Mm -hmm.
and finally she is done she is thick as always so i have let's quickly flip through it and then let's call it good because i feel like this video is super long so title page <gasps> um okay so i actually have to paper clip these two together let me slide those on there we go so oops yeah, that's fine. Okay, so then we can go straight from the title page to the calendar. All right, so ooh, I'm gonna have to like reinforce the um, the binding here and then repunch it because it's getting a little loose. So we have the yearly overview my sticky note dashboard, some winter squash folders with stickers and stationery, my table of contents, my fall bucket list, my first divider, and I actually might also paper clip this together as well so that way we can go straight from the divider to the hourly schedule. So we'll paper clip that together. My bookmark, um, and then the first planner section, which is my little prayer planner. I've got Santa Claus looking jolly, some snowflakes, my bedtime routine and sleep logs. I'm gonna update this this month, I think. My bookmark, my first section, which is my academic section. And because I already set up this week here, I'm just going to leave that in and then we have my December monthly. I'm also going to add in my new class schedule and calendar spread here and um, use this blank page uh, for that. So we have my bookmark and then my December monthly and December weekly pages. So we have those and then the next section is my internship section. This is a color block vertical. We have that all set up. And then the next section is my community service and social justice section. This is a vertical, so that's fine. And we also have an extra happy notes section here, which I might replace this with the January overview for the from the new planner that I'm gonna use for this section because, because this planner ends this year, I don't have the monthly overview here on the back. And I like having the monthly overview for the next month in because I can always write down important dates that are happening like in the important date section on the monthly overview. Might have to change up that. And then we have uh, my next section, which is my world news section. I'm gonna grab some more paper clips here and clip that down as well. This is the colorful leopard lined vertical. And then we have my fitness section, wrong wrong. That's all set up. Then again, we have, because this planner ends this year, I, we have a notes section in the back, but I do want to replace that with the overview section from for January. And then we have a divider separating the next section. This is my dashboard for my household. This is from the um, Adventure Awaits planner. So we have the pages in there for that. And again, this planner ends at the end of the year. So we have just a note section. So we have my garden planner. This is from the Feel All That Feels Skinny. Can't wait to get back into my garden. And lastly, my budget section. I have my budget section all set up. And let me just show you the blank pages of the month of December. So this is the new month here. I have November in here still because I still want to work on that and use that. But this is what that uh, planner looks like and then we just have an envelope folders and some filler paper in the back so yes i'm so excited to be in my new planner for december and yeah i can't wait to you know make holiday plans so thank you so much for tuning into this video let me know what you think about my setup and i'll catch you in my next video bye